Welcome to our tour of Silver Dollar City. This is just one of the many things to do that we will feature in our complete travel guide of Branson, coming next week. Among them, we'll take you on the other Silver Dollar City attractions like the Branson Bell and Whitewater Water Park. In addition, we'll take you inside of 16 shows, a horse ride, a helicopter ride, a tiki bar, a winery, and 11 different vacation rentals, from hotels to cabins and resorts. For now, with the help of Silver Dollar City rep Sawyer, let's show you America's number one theme park. While this was mostly filmed in the summer, we are also going to show the Harvest Festival that runs from mid-September to the end of October and an old-time Christmas that runs from early November to December. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. And it'll open up here. It'll have all the information. It's got some ads and stuff like that for different things you can do with your tickets. But you can see that we're all about our new fire in the hole. Then you flip it over here, you've got your interactive map. And then it's got all sorts of information and, and uh, stories yeah. on the city, new places to eat, new shows to see, and all kinds of things. Again, we write these in marketing and then put them in here, so they work really hard. Yeah. And then a show schedule as well. The mornings begin at Silver Dollar City over the summer with a flag ceremony that honors our veterans. Done about half a circle, you go all the way around. This mm -hmm. is the square, what we call the square. This is what originally opened in 1960, back in May. And so this was actually a parking lot, and all these buildings are what Silver Dollar City was. That and the cave. It was all built around the cave, right, to give people things to do to stay cool, stay entertained. A lot of places have, you know, uh, there's maybe a country theme, and then there's a modern city theme, then there's a 1990s theme. Here it's all 1880s, so you really get enveloped in the theming. We have world-class theming, and that's because people who really lived here in these parts actually built these buildings, actually had say of what went in where. The, so we try to keep those things that were, uh, you know, again, popular in the 1880s. We try to keep them here for our guests. The ball knobbers have set the whole town ablaze. Go! Fire in the Hole gets its roots back from before Silver Dollar City was around. There was a real mining town on top of Marvel Cave, mm -hmm. and they were mining out the town from Baguana. So the Bald Knobbers came. There wasn't anyone in the town at the time, but they actually did burn the town down where Silver Dollar City sits today. Yeah. So that's where we take this kind of, we take a little bit of folklore, like we like to be being storytellers here in the Ozark, and we mix it with uh, the modern technology of this ride. So it actually, you're gaining elevation the whole time you're riding, and at the very end, you do have three drops. And they're temperate drops, they're mild, they're not huge, gut-wrenching. Again, this is a family ride. Um, but at the very end, the final drop, uh, you essentially have used the dynamite that the bold numbers were using to kind of harass the city, and you blow up the water tower, which extinguishes the flames, and you save the town. Gonna blow! Fire in the hole! actually a water splashdown and that's how they actually stop the coaster it's a braking system yeah. it's a pool of water down there you hit it you get a little wet not it's not soaked like mr Gerber falls yeah. um, but you get a little bit of a mist and uh, that's the end of the ride it's a good idea to ride the train early one because it can get a little crowded and two because it gives you a little tour of the park but watch out you might get robbed Silver in there? No, nothing. Not even. Put down an 81 degree drop and spin you upside down. Not once, not twice, but three old times. Went out to three. Everybody say dog on. You can stop in the saloon for the Frontier Follies with dancing girls, side split and comedy, and music. Before the show, you can pick up some popcorn and floats. Despite it being a saloon, there's no alcohol, as Silver Dollar City is family friendly.
Get him! Get him! Get him, Bailey! Truly, when you walk through here, this whole area of the park is like daylight at, at night. Wow. Um, because there's so many lights. We put extra facades up. You can see a black tower right there. It has a spinning Christmas tree on uh -huh. top. One of the most popular times of the year at Silver Dollar City, and probably the most beautiful, is an old-time Christmas, which runs from early November to December 30th. And what is becoming very popular as well is Harvest Festival, where there's pumpkin nights. It runs from about mid-September to the end of October. So Silver Dollar City has this great app that gives you kind of a GPS and directions wherever you need to go. You just pull up the app, follow where you're going, and it'll lead you right where you want. We're going to the Dockside Theater. The Rivertown Ramblers was recently rated by USA Today as number two for best theme park entertainment in the country. They put on a very engaging show. And next to the Dockside Theater is the Rivertown Smokehouse. This is not your typical theme park food, but some high quality barbecue being smoked for 18 hours to ensure zesty, rich flavor. Full pork we got here. We got some sausage for you, smoked sausage. This is turkey. Those are ribs. All of this is hickory smoke. Um, and then you got some brisket over here. And then that's just more full pork. Uh, you got macaroni and cheese. You got corn salad. Uh, some baked beans, as well as uh, coleslaw, and then this is our twice baked cinnamon bread pudding. Mm. Mm. This is to die for. One for me and one for Bailey. So there you have it, America's number one theme park, Silver Dollar City. Make sure to see our complete Branson travel guide. In that video, we will also take you on a tour of Marvo Cave, which is included in your admission to Silver Dollar City. Coming next week at Tampa Aerial Media. But uh, we create memories worth repeating and we bring families closer together. Uh, so that's our, our mission and our vision. Ha <laughs> ha